Well, I grew up for the most part uh, in Toronto, um, which is a very, very multicultural city. I came to Canada when I was two, settling first in Kingston, and since there wasn't a huge um, Chinese population out there, my folks had to assimilate rather quickly. We moved to downtown Toronto before I started grade one, and I remember um, we'd have kids from all over the world in school. So at recess, um, we'd be spending time learning how to say bad words in other languages, like Hindi or Farsi, or playing foot hockey, uh, which for the Americans watching is essentially soccer, but with a tennis ball. Um, but in Canada, it always comes back to hockey. Um, so as even as kids, we'd celebrate our differences rather than dwell uh, or fix it on them. Some of my visible minority friends in university who grew up in smaller towns in Ontario had uh, very different experiences to me. And I don't want to downplay the um, backhanded or sometimes overt racism that they faced. But all in all, um, growing up in Toronto didn't make me feel I was any different because of the way I looked. I'm aware of my Chinese heritage. I mean, I spoke Cantonese in my household growing up, and with the large Chinese community here in Toronto, um, there's always good Chinese food to eat. And they say outside of Hong Kong and Guangdong, um, Toronto has some of the best Cantonese cuisine. There was always lots of cultural events to attend, like Chinese New Year celebrations. Dragon Boat Festivals and uh, lots of Asian food festivals. So I always feel attached to my own culture, but I feel the unique thing of growing up a visible, visible minority in Canada, and I guess uh, specifically Toronto, is while I'm still attached to my culture and share the same values and traditions of other Chinese people, at heart, I'm still a Canadian through and through. So it's poutine over nachos. Hockey is so much better than baseball and our milk comes in bags and not jugs and we're proud of it. I'd say my ethnicity doesn't directly affect me professionally, at least not negatively. Maybe the positive stereotypes about East and Southeast Asians work ethics have even helped me land my first few jobs at the university. At Onyx, uh, we've always had a very diverse workforce and a quick visit to any of our GTA offices or the data center pre-corona, um, you'd see people from all different backgrounds. I feel multiculturalism is important since it dissipates the divisiveness of ignorance. It requires dialogue between different cultures that have radically different perspectives. It's important as it softens the indifference of tolerance and embraces it with the humanity of acceptance. I'd say the biggest issue facing Asian Canadians and Asian Americans is the huge uptick in anti-Asian racism that coincided with COVID-19. Everyone's trying to navigate this pandemic, but I feel the Asian communities in North America specifically are dealing with a double component, which um, also includes the added stigmatization of our communities, which has led to a sense of fear. The Asian communities need to be aware that the pandemic is not the fault of Chinese or Asian people. We need to be brave enough to speak out on these issues and intervene if we see something happening and ultimately recognize that we just need to fight against racism of all forms.